your quilting friends, it's Carolina Moore, your favorite sewing and quilting YouTuber. And today's video is one that I've been promising to do for months, so I apologize for those of you who have been waiting. But here it is. Today we're going to talk about how to use the box bag template to make just about any size bowl cozy that you want. You ready? Let's get started. Okay, friends, I have a pattern for a bowl cozy. It is a simple pattern. It all fits on a postcard for making a bowl cozy, and it makes this size bowl cozy. So I have several bowl cozies that I've already made that are this size. These bowls, my demo bowls, I just got them from the dollar store, and they fit in the bowl cozy just perfect. Um, and but this bowl cozy was really designed for kind of like standard size bowls, which these definitely are. But I thought we'd start off with a like will it bowl segment of if this bowl cozy will fit different size bowls. So I went into my kitchen and I grabbed a bunch of just all the different size like standard bowls that I have to see will it bowl. Now this is like a little bowl. It might be like a little ice cream bowl. This one is from Ikea and it does fit in there. It's got a little room to groove in there, but it's a bowl cozy. It's not, you know, we're not looking at whether or not the waist fits perfectly. This isn't garment sewing here. So works just fine. Okay, this is Wedding China. This is um, Villeroy and Bach um, Wedding China. Um, it's the, I believe the pattern was Tipo White, but but this one fits perfectly. Nice little bowl in a bowl cozy. This is just Corel, regular Corel wear, and you can see it's a little bit bigger than my wedding china. Fits beautifully, right? And then this is a bowl that I recently got as a gift. Um, from my neighbors and so this is hand fired handmade pottery and it fits beautifully in bowl cozy so this is a standard bowl cozy for standard uh, bowl sizes with this bowl cozy pattern instructions down below for uh, where you can get this bowl cozy pattern you do need the box bag template to make it but this standard regular bowl cozy pattern will fit tons of regular like standard size bowls so if you have a bigger bowl like this, like it fits in there, but I mean, it's a little, th this bowl is a little big. Um, I don't even know where we got this bowl. We have a couple of them and they are just a little big for this bowl cozy. So what happens when you have a bigger bowl or like this is a mixing bowl and you can see especially because it's glass, you can see it just squishes down in there. Not pretty, right? So how do you create bowl cozies for these different size bowls? And I'm so glad you asked because we are going to talk about making different size bowl cozies as well as plate cozies today with a box bag template. Now I'm going to grab a piece of sample fabric here. A bowl cozy is really two things. It is the size you cut your square and it is the size you cut your darts. Um, a bowl cozy technically is a third thing because you can decide whether or not you're going to curve or keep your corners square. A lot of people keep their corners square on their bowl cozies because they don't have a good curve to be able to curve the corners on a bowl cozy. When you have square corners on your bowl cozy, that means you have this point. You have to clip that point, you then have to poke out that point, and you have to stitch around that point it's much more difficult to get a good looking bowl cozy when you have a point here rather than a curve. A curve is easier to sew around. It's easier to, um, to get it to poke out because there's not like a sharp point there. You're not going to accidentally poke through your curve the way when you're trying to poke out a point, you can sometimes poke through that point. It's really terrible. I've had happen. Um, so a curve and it just, it looks fancier. So it's actually less work. And it looks fancier, which is my favorite kind of quilting, getting credit for being lazy. So curves are great. A lot of people don't do them because they don't have a good curve ruler. Well, 
The box bag template was designed for making bags and because bag flaps, we like to have a nice gentle curve on our bag flaps. That's what this curve was designed for and it works perfect for cutting the curves on bulk cozies. So let me grab my rotary cutter here and I'll show you how we do that. So you just cut your curve. Now I've got a layer of batting behind this fabric um, and I'm cutting to the size of the fabric. So even if my batting is a little, sticks out a little more um, than my fabric does, I'm cutting to the size of the fabric. Now you can see that this curve is getting cut just with a regular rotary cutter. You don't need one of those tiny little um, 15 millimeter rotary cutters to be able to cut around this curve. It cuts it perfect. And all your curves are uniform this way. We're not eyeballing anything and then trying to line up mismatched curves later. All your curves are going to be the same. And if you look, it just takes off a very little amount of fabric. There's almost no fabric that is being taken off of um, the curve. Okay, or of the of your fabric. Very little fabric is being, I guess, de ruined, destroyed, thrown away. Just the tiniest little bits. Okay, so that is cutting the curves for the corners of our bowl cozy. Now the next step is to cut in the darts. So what you do is you fold your your fabric in half and I'm going to stop this for a second because it's actually better to remove your fabric from that batting and fold it in half this way and give yourself a good crease because if you have that extra layer of the batting when you fold it in half um, sometimes it's hard to get a clean crease so if you're just doing that layer of fabric you're getting a nice clean crease and now we have a line that we can see let me move that out of the way and I can grab my box bag template to cut my dart. So let's say I want to do a two inch dart on this one and we'll talk in a minute about how to choose what size dart that you want to use. My bowl cozy pattern does have, um, now look, I'll show you real quick how easy that was. Super easy, perfect. The, this box bag template is designed to be work, used with a regular rotary cutter and it has these notches so this will cut perfect every time. We'll go around and keep cutting these while I'm chatting. So um, the bowl cozy pattern has instructions for what size to cut your square and what size to cut your darts for a standard bowl cozy pattern. And then it also tells you how to sew it all together to make your bowl cozy. But here uh, I'm showing you how to make different sizes depending on the different bowls or plates or whatnot that you have in your kitchen that you want to make cozies for. So I just folded the other side. I'm gonna cut the same size dart. In this case, I'm doing two inches. You cut whatever size you need. Either follow the instructions in the pattern for your standard size bowl cozy, or, and we'll talk about measurements in a minute, for if you're cutting a different size bowl cozy. There we go. That easy to cut perfect darts. Whenever I show this to people who've made bowl cozies before, they say, oh my gosh, I wish I had this when I made all those bowl cozies that I made for gifts. So perfect, um, easy to make bowl cozies. This wasn't designed as a bowl cozy template. It was designed as a bag making template. And after they were already in production, we discovered how amazing it is for making bowl cozies. Here's another example. This one was cut larger. You can see these darts are bigger, but it's the same thing. You end up with this kind of like X shape. Now you can choose to quilt it if you want, if they are smaller than the size that the batting requires. So on your package of batting, it'll say how far apart you need to stitch. If your square is eight inches and your batting says it can be stitched every eight inches, then you don't need to quilt it. Um, when you're done sewing it, you can always do a little um, circle of sewing in the middle to hold the two layers together because when this gets washed because this one hasn't been quilted it'll come like this out of the wash but just like putting socks back together you just put it back together it's not a big deal um so you can cut your darts different sizes how do you know what size okay I have a printable go down in the description click on the link it'll take you to where you can get the download for the printable the free printable that'll tell you how to know what size to cut your bowl cozies but i'm also going to tell you here so you don't have to get the printable but if you like having a paper thing i have that available to you okay 
So here is the general rule. Ready? You take your bowl and you take a measuring tape. You measure from one side of the bowl all the way around. So this is 11 inches. You're gonna add a half an inch for seam allowance. So for this bowl cozy, I wanna cut 11 and a half inch square, right? So for this bowl, bowl, co bowl cozy, I would do an 11 and a half inch square. Now, what size do I cut my darts? Great question. You're gonna take your bowl and there is a ruler right here, but you can use any ruler. And we're gonna look, and this is at just about three and a half inches. You're gonna take um, that size, and I usually do whatever the next size down is. So it's just under three and a half inch, or just under three and a half inches in height, I'm going to do a three inch dart. Um, you then make your bowl cozy, and you make one, test it. Do I like how that fits? Um, and then you can make adjustments from there. And the reason that it's not going to be a perfect science every time is because if I measure this bowl cozy, this is 10 inches, so I cut this to 10 and a half inches, the square. I cut the square for that one to 10 and a half inches, and then this is two and a half inches in height. And if I compare this bowl cozy and this bowl cozy, they're pretty close, like two completely different bowls. They cozy up really similar. And then this bowl cozy made smaller, right? That fits nice and snug. But if I put this bigger bowl in it, that's a little small for this one. But as we saw in the Will It Cozy segment, lots of different, you know, size, height, bowls can fit in the same size bowl cozy. So you have some wiggle room when you're making your bowl cozies. And then, so the same thing also applies for when you're making plate cozies. So this is a plate cozy. The plate isn't very deep. Um, I wanted a little extra depth on this. And it's the same thing. You measure your plate. So you take your measuring tape and you measure across. This is 11 inches. So I'm gonna cut my square at 11 and a half. I'm gonna take the height of my plate, which is about an inch. And I'm gonna cut my darts at an inch. Um, and that's, what size. You could cut it at an inch and a half. These ones actually were cut at an inch and a half. I wanted them a little deeper for this plate cozy, but an inch would have given me less squish on here. Um, and then you have a nice comfy plate cozy for your plate. Now, if you wanted your plate, you say, oh, you know, this is great, but I actually for my plate cozy would want it to extend further, then you would cut maybe a 12 and a half inch square instead of an 11 and a half inch square. So make one, Using the general rules of cut your fabric the size of the object plus a half inch and then cut your darts roughly the height of the object and that will give you your plate or bowl cozy. Um, make one, test it, see if you like the way it is. Like, I don't mind these edges sticking out a little bit. Some people might. They wouldn't want to grab it by here. They want to be able to grab it on any edge and not have any hot plate edges um, exposed. Make it bigger. It's totally flexible how you make them. The box bag template, which is designed for making bags, and I've got the intro video here that'll talk to you about all the ways that it does um, bag making, also is accidentally the best darn template for making bowl cozies as well. So it makes bags, it also does bowl cozies, it also does plate cozies, and because you can cut your dart at any size you want, you can make small bowl, bowl cozies, big bowl cozies, uh, giant bowl cozies, casserole cozies, pie cozies. If you can cozy anything in your kitchen, because you can cut your darts as big as three and a half inches using the box bag template. Any, um, all the links to the pattern. And by the way, for sewing this together, get the pattern. So now that you know how to cut it, cut it however you want, and then um, follow the pattern instructions for finishing up your bowl cozy. Um, and you can make it the many size, but the pattern, the box bag template, um, details are all down in the description. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to leave those down below. Give this video a thumbs up, especially if you've been waiting for this for a while, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you saw it. And if you're not already subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? My friends, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, friends, thanks so much for watching today. I'll see you right here real soon. Bye for now.